Thank you very much, the lovely and talented Daniel Day Kim. Ladies, are we lucky tonight to have him as our MC? Oh my goodness, um, I've just been affected by the young and lovely and super, super talented Maria Lourdes Aragon, Mabuhai, um, Anohaseo to everybody else, Yoroshiku, Nihao, um, and good evening. Thank you so very much. It is my pleasure to present the Apex Leadership Achievement Award to my very, very special friend, uh, the gentleman from, well, I don't know, sometimes he's a gentleman and sometimes he's not from California. But he's all our friend, correct? Congressman Mike Honda. I have a script here that I will go through very quickly, but I wanted to actually, um, because Apex um, and Kapachi, or Kpax, as it is now known, I have been very, very fortunately associated with this organization for 16, 17 years. Yes, I'm telling you my age. But it is an organization that provides nonpartisan Let's hear it for all the Democrats here. Let's hear it for all the Republicans here. Let's hear it for all the independents here. Okay. It is a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization that encourages participation and representation of Asian Pacific Islander Americans in this nation in the political and civics process with, by the mentoring program and by nurturing young professionals from community service age all the way through electoral office. It is an organization that I've been proud to be associated with to help encourage those who might be able to or might be interested in participating in the political process to be the next congressperson, to be the next council person, to be the next senator, to be the next potential ambassador for this great nation in representing. And Mike Honda is one of them. Mike Honda is what I call my fellow cheerleader because we two are the noisy ones up here. We are both teachers as an actor before I became an actor, I wanted to become a teacher, and teachers are telling stories. It's about knowing about who we are, where we come from, where we want to go, and how we can bring along as many people along the road with us. Mike began as a teacher, and he worked through the school board membership, and he became elected in representing Northern California. I'm a SoCal girl, so I'm going to give it up for the NorCal boy. Northern California and pushing issues that are important to him, education, immigration reform, civil rights, the environment, and being from NorCal, of course, those high-tech issues. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a leader. He is the noisy one. He kind of gets into your skin. He's really noisy at the karaoke bar, especially after a few tequilas. But I cannot imagine him in the house arguing for these issues and really trying to progress what it means to be an American with this Asian uh, Pacific Islander face. It's something that I have grown to really appreciate. And I always cry when I get up here because I see our heroes the former Secretary Mineta, Congressman Honda, those who we've lost, Congressman Matsui, Congressman Matsunaga, Congresswoman uh, Patsy Mink, M's, Senator Inoue, there's the I and then M, 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 M. And my conda is the H, so I said my new acronym is HIM. But for all the Asian Pacific Americans in the political process who represent so many of us in this great nation, but all of us Americans in trying to progress what it means to be a fortunate citizen to call this country our own, but to have these faces and to say that we identify with the blue and gray of the Civil War. We identify with, this, uh, with the revolutionaries who fought against the British so we could claim this United States as our own. But we come from different countries. We all have colors, white, black, brown, all shades of yellow, which I call gold. And he happens to push what it means to be of Japanese American extraction. Ladies and gentlemen, he has been my friend. He has been your friend. He's been the ultimate passionate, kind of stick it in your butt kind of cheerleader because he gets to you because he's really a passionate, enthusiastic, heartfelt man and someone whom we all can look up to to lead us in the right way where this nation needs to go. 
I forget about this script. This is all, you all know who he is. He is truly your friend, the NorCal boy from the 15th Congressional District of California. My friend, your friend, the nation's friend, Congressman Mike Honda. Oh, sit down. Come on, you guys. They don't do this in Congress. <laughs> Thank you, Tamlin. Whoa, uh, it's been a real great night. You know, it's um, Apex, you've come of age. Norm, thank you for giving it birth. Um, and I, I just want to recognize my, my colleagues, um, Lynn Woolsey, Barbara, Barbara Lee, um, Hanson Clark, uh, Al Green, uh, Becerra, uh, the other uh, members of the Asian American Caucus. Uh, and uh, it's really great that we had uh, Judy Chu come along because we needed to pass that baton on to somebody younger, <laughs> better looking, more energetic. And, and so uh, it was fitting that it was uh, Judy Chu. She is tenacious, and she will carry on the the legacy of uh, K Pax and A Pax, K Pax and A Pax. <laughs> and Maria, what a pinai man, a pinai power. You know, uh, I heard you talking up there. You you. You talk about everybody else here, but you know what? You are the future. And uh, you talk, you have that song, um, something born about this born this way. way. You're yeah, born this way. Every time I see somebody like you, I always say, say to myself, I was born too early. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know, uh, you just give us hope. And the other part of hope is the people that APACs have engendered, like, um, Gloria, like Scott Nishoki, he's from Hawaii. As soon as he left uh, being an intern, he went to Hawaii and, and became an a, 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 a assembly person over there in Hawaii. Um, Gloria Stafford came up to me earlier and said, you have only three minutes. So I'll keep it short. You can applaud on that one. <laughs> You didn't have to do it so quickly. <laughs> uh, but uh, I have to say that looking out in the audience and in and, and this kind of event, one of the th dreams I think that Norm had when he started KPAC was that KPAC should be a organization that would be on par with CHCI and with uh, CBC, and that we work with the um, the Progressive Caucus, it's been said that the Tri Caucus and the, and the CPC, the Progressive Caucus, we make 40% of the Democratic um, population, and that is leverage. And we are so proud to be part of that legacy that Norm had laid out and the vision he laid out. And then he started something called APAX. It had a diff different name before that, but it's still the same vision. <laughs> same vision. And that we have young people coming out of those programs. And, and to the sponsors, I just want to say thank you. And to the sponsors, I want to say thank you for responding to this um, event. And to our sponsors, I'm going to suck up to you again, because next year, <laughs> we're going to ask you for help again. Because if you think this is great, you know, it'll be great every year, even greater. Not the greatness of Asian Americans, but the greatness of this country. And the greatness that the Tri Caucus and the, the Progressive Caucus can work together. Because I have to tell you that the one thing I'm proud of this year is the budget that the Tri Caucus and the Progressive Caucus have put out for this country. And I know I'm getting political. 
But you know, this is for all peoples of this country, both Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. For key parties and those who are, you know, um, so far left that it makes me look like I'm conservative. But it's, it's true. This country is at a point when we need to really work together and to have and employ what we call common sense. And so with that common sense, we can move this country forward. And let it be said, let it be said that it was because the kinds of work that all of you have done. Let it be said that it's because of the expectations you've had. Let it be said because of the leadership that you've had here this evening and the support that you give to the people here and the young people here. And let it be said that we have never forgotten the blanket of protection that this Constitution gives us. And let it be also said that it's always been our effort to make this country, as it's phrased in the Constitution, to form a more perfect union. And tonight, we've come closer to perfection with our administration and with our efforts all together. So to all of you, um, thank you for this recognition. And I just want to say that um, you're all part of it, whether you're in, in, in the entertainment business or political. It all makes a difference because we all can make a difference. Maria, you done it. Dan, you made it. Gloria did it. Norm, you did it. And all of you out there, thank you so much for this, uh, this uh, recognition. But I share it with all of you because without you, none of this could have ever happened, okay? Thank you.